there was a lot of confusion even today. Like um, there were two lines, like one for claiming the missing baggage and one uh, to stand in the line to just to go and find your bag. So st still, I have a lost bag. The massive midway continues for the second night in a row. One of Southwest's biggest hubs dealing with a flying fiasco. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Natalie Baumke. And I'm Anthony Ponce. Corey and Dawn have the night off. Thousands of passengers still stranded as Southwest faces mounting pressure from federal officials. Casey Cronus is live from Midway with a look at where things stand right now. Casey. Anthony and Natalie, roughly 260 flights in and out of Midway were canceled today, most of them southwest. The airline grounding 65% of its flights nationwide today, and yesterday that number was even higher. It's leading to a lot of questions because many other major airlines have already recovered following the recent winter storm. As Southwest planes sit idle at their gates, frustration has turned into exhaustion for many customers. I've been dealing with this since Christmas Eve. My flight got canceled at 12 o'clock in the morning while we were on the plane. At Midway, some travelers have been stuck in the airport since the holiday. Any plans of spending time with family gone. I'm like, I didn't pay for this. As cheap as it is, I didn't expect nothing like this. But this is like something out of a movie. Thousands of bags sit untouched, many ending up in the wrong city. One man says his friend connected through Midway. He made it to Philly, but his bag never did. They're saying that here in Midway, all these bags here at Midway are only uh, final destination bags Midway, and that if it's destined to go to Philly, then it's locked in a big hangar and there's nothing I can really do about it. It's a common tale, along with travelers losing hope they'll make it where they need to go. So it's been kind of changing times all day, so we weren't really sure whether it was going up or down. So on the way here, it got pushed back till I think almost 11 p.m. In a new video statement, Southwest CEO maintains the recent winter storm is to blame for their operational failures. You know, our network is highly complex. And the operation of the airline counts on all the pieces, especially aircraft and crews, remaining in motion to where they're planned to go. U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg calling the ordeal unacceptable, saying, quote, our department will hold Southwest accountable for making things right with their customers and employees. Governor Pritzker also issuing a statement writing, all travelers must be compensated for invaluable loss of time this holiday season on top of compensation for rescheduled flights, hotels, and alternative transportation. And late tonight, we saw airport employees stacking dozens of suitcases onto these large carts and wheeling them away. They told us that those bags would be shipped back to passengers that are stuck in other cities. Looking ahead, Southwest officials say they only plan to fly about one third of their schedule for the next several days. Reporting live from Midway, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago. Casey, thank you. And the issues with Southwest are causing a mess at airports all around the country. This was a scene in Colorado at Denver International Airport where hundreds of flights are delayed and canceled. Cell phone video shows just how many bags are piled up there. Another hectic scene at the San Diego Airport. Again, just piles and piles of bags waiting to reconnect with their owners. People at that airport also report waiting hours to try and get their belongings and find their way home. And with air travel a problem across the country, some ground transportation came to a halt in Chicago tonight when rideshare and food delivery drivers made good on a promise to shut it down. Uber and Lyft drivers demonstrating against what they say are unfair working conditions. They are calling for fair wages and improved safety measures. That work stoppage began at 7 o'clock tonight.